Welcome to TwoFingerBanjo.com. I'm Matt Brown. This is my intermediate arrangement of Stay All Night, also known as Waterbound or Way Down in North Carolina. On TwoFingerBanjo.com, under Beginner Tunes, is the simple version in G tuning. This builds on that, but we're going to be up in A tuning, so you can either capo at the second fret and adjust your fifth string accordingly, or just tune everything up like I did if your strings aren't too old. I think banjos sound the best when we tune up to A rather than capo, but it's your decision. So I'm going to play you the first phrase of the A part. And if you're looking at the tab, which is available at twofingerbanjo.com under intermediate tunes, this is the first two measures, measures one and two. And those of you who have already learned the beginner version in G tuning will notice a lot of similarities, but I'm going to teach it as if, as if you've never learned it, just in case there are folks watching who didn't try the beginner version are just jumping in at the intermediate level. So we begin with a slide from two to four on the third string. So that's the note B to the note C sharp in this tuning. I use middle finger because I play this whole song out of first position. So we're going to go slide, five, one, two, five, one. That's the whole measure. And the only fretted notes are that initial slide. Slide, five, one, two, five, one. Ready, play. Ready, play. And once that feels good, we're gonna walk down from open second to third string second fret to open third, and then put a five, one at the end. So play open second, third string, second fret, open third, and then five one. Ready, go. Ready, go. So let's review the first phrase of the Stay All Night A part, starting with a slide. One, two, ready, go. Let's do it two more times. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. And once you feel confident about that, move on to the second phrase. Here's the second phrase of the A part, played slowly. We begin with a hammer on the third string from zero to two. Middle finger is what frets for me. And once you hammer down, you leave it for the rest of the measure. So you're gonna go hammer, five, one, three, five, one. Ready? Go. Again, go. And then we walk down. There are a lot of walk downs in this first line, and then we walk up a lot in the second line. So, walking down from open third, fourth string, second fret, open fourth, and then five one. 
Try that. Open third, ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. So what if we play the entire second phrase of the A part? We'd go hammer, five, one, three, five, one, three, four, two, four. Your turn, ready, go. How about two more times? Ready, go. Ready, go. Once you feel really good about that, We'll play phrases one and two together. One, two, ready, slide. Hammer. that went well for you. Let's do it again. Sliding. One, two, ready, go. And once you feel really good about that, you're ready for the second half of the A part. Here's phrase three of the A part played slowly. Those of you who learned the version, the beginner version of this in G tuning will notice that this phrase is identical. We're just in a different tuning, up a, up a whole step. But for all of you, a review for some and new for some others, open fourth, second fret of the fourth, open three, and then five, one. So this is where we start to climb up. Ready, go. Ready, again. Once more, ready, go. And then we continue to climb in measure six, the rest of the phrase. So that's open second, open first, first at the second fret, and then 5-1, and you have to let go of your second fret in time for the 5-1 to sound like open strings. So open two, open one, second fret, 5-1. Ready, go. Ready, go. So all of phrase three, measures five and six, is Try it with me. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, play. Next, we'll try playing phrases one, two, and three. One, two, ready, go. Let's do that again. Sliding one, two, ready, go.
Feel free to pause the video and work on that as much as you need to before going on to learning the fourth and final phrase. Here's the fourth phrase of the A part played slowly. The first measure, measure seven on your page, if you're looking at the tab, is all long notes, all quarter notes. So there's just four of them. There are four beats in a measure, so just four quarter notes in this measure. Open five, open one, open two, and then third string, second fret. Try those four notes with me. Ready, go. Ready, go. And then the eighth and final measure of the A part. I put in a, a pretty fun slide in order to prepare this video. It's from three to five on the fourth string. So we're getting, for those of you who know a little bit about the different modes, we're briefly evoking a mixolydian sound in a song that doesn't usually have that, meaning that the seventh note of the scale is, is lowered by a fret. So rather than going from G sharp to A, we're gonna go from G natural to A. If you don't like it, you can change it, um, but I thought it would be pretty fun. So we're gonna slide with ring finger on fourth string to th from third fret to fifth fret, and then the rest is pretty standard for us. Five, one, three, pinch. So it's just that slide that might be surprising. Slide, five, one, three, pinch. Ready, go. Ready, go. So, the entire fourth phrase of the A part, measures seven and eight, would be, and then, try it. Ready, go. Ready, go. Once that feels good, you're ready to play the whole A part with me. We're gonna play two A parts in a row, nice and slowly, although I think we have an adjustment to make so that our little mascot has slid closer to the banjo. And I think we need to give him a little bit more space. Now we're ready, two A parts. One, two, ready. Go. Let's do that same thing one more time. Two A parts in a row at that same tempo, beginning with our slide. One, two, ready, go. Once you can do that repeatedly and well, 
it's time to move on to the B part. Here's the first phrase of our B part played slowly. And for the entire phrase, we're going to use a partial C shape. So for those of you who are used to playing a C chord like this in G tuning, we're going to use two thirds of that. I want to use this fingering. You could try a fingering more reflective of the full C shape. But what I do for a variety of reasons is middle finger on first string, second fret, index on second string, first fret. And we hold these down for almost the entire phrase with just a pull off that we'll get to. Measure nine, we do hold it all down. It's one, five, one, two, five, holding all of that down. Ready, go. Ready, go. Now the fun measure. So we're still in this shape and what we have to do is do a two to zero pull off on the first string while not removing the second string fretted note. So this requires some real strength and independence of whatever finger you're using on the first string. Because the next thing we do is play that second string fretted note. So it's gonna be pull off and then second string. Ready, go. I almost said a different word, but it's second string. So pull off two to zero on the first string, and then second string still at the first fret. What makes this so fun is that we then replace the second fret on the first string, and then end with two thumbs. So your thumb rings the fifth string twice. So we're gonna go pull off two, one, five, five. But the hardest part is that you do the pull off and replace that second fret note. Try it. Ready, go. This is every student's favorite measure in this arrangement. Ready, go. Ready, go. And sometimes you won't get as clear a pull off sound as you'd like. I didn't like that last one, um, but keep working on it. Ready, go. That was horrible. Try it again. Ready, go. Ah, that's better. Ready, go. So once you can do that more than once in a row, cleanly, and cleanly is the, is the operative word, I want you to try measures nine and 10. So all of phrase one in the B part. Here we go. Make your partial C shape. One, two, good luck, go. Two more times. Ready, go. And if you want to try it with ring finger instead of middle, you can. Ready, go. The secret is that I usually use this fingering with the ring in the index if I'm capoed. I feel like when I'm capoed up, it's too squished up here to really do the move with index and middle, so I'll use ring there. But for some reason, when I'm in um, an uncapoed position, I tend to have a lot of success with index and middle. So see what works best for you. When you can do that phrase well, then you're ready for the next phrase of the B part. And keep in mind, as we look ahead, we're going to use phrase one of the B part as phrase three of the B parts. So we want to get really good at that before we move on. Here's the second phrase of the B part played slowly. These two measures, 11 and 12 on your tab, are almost entirely open strings. There's just a single slide that is fretted. So we begin by going one, five, one, two. That's all open, ready, go. And then we have a slide, the only slide in this phrase 
is on the second string from first fret to second fret. Ready, go. So what if we do the whole measure? So one, five, one, two, slide. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. And then measure 12 is all open strings. One, five, one, three, pinch. Ready, go. Ready, go. So let's try all of phrase two in the B part. Measures 11 and 12, starting open first. Ready, play. Slide, open. One, two, again, go. One, two, ready, go. Once that feels good, we're going to play phrases one and two together. One, two, ready, play. Let's try that again. So we're doing the entire third line on the tab. Measures 9, 10, 11, and 12. One, two, ready, go. Once that feels good, move on to the third phrase, which is a phrase you already know how to play. Phrase three is the same as phrase one in the B part. So with that in mind, we should be able to play phrases one, two, and three together. One, two, ready, go. Let's do that one more time and then I'll show you the last phrase of the B part. One, two, ready, Go. Once you can do that smoothly, you're ready for the last two measures. Here's the fourth phrase of the B part, played slowly. And it shares a lot with the fourth phrase of the A part, so it shouldn't be too hard to learn. We start with a bunch of open strings. One, five, one, two. Try that. Ready, go. Ready, go. And then we go to third string, second fret. Ready, play. So we're playing all of measure 15 right now. Ready, go. And then measure 16, the last one, is the same as the last from the eight part. So it's that mixolydian sounding slide from three to five on the fourth string, and then five, one, three, pinch for the open strings. So we have fourth string slide, five, one, three, pinch. So the whole phrase is one, 
five one two three two slide five one three pinch your turn ready go one more time ready go Once you feel good about that, we're going to put the entire B part together. Let's play two B parts in a row, starting in that C shape that comes out as a D major chord because of the fact that we're in A tuning. One, two, ready, go. Let's do two more B parts, just like that. One, two, ready, go. Once that feels good, you're ready to put the whole tune together. We're going to play the whole tune three times together, and if you'd like to try playing it in a virtual YouTube jam session, my Patreon supporters have access to a video of me playing this in this tuning with fiddle and guitar accompaniment, so consider becoming a Patreon member for access to that, as well as other exclusive content or early looks at things. Thanks to all of you who are already supporters. It really means a lot. One, two, ready, slide. Beginning. 